this session i'm going to coach you how to link your tax manager with your google ads account so when we are targeting for our remarketing strategy we need to first of all connect with our google ads account with our tax manager account now so let me navigate towards my uh, tax manager sorry uh, my google ads account now and here you will be able to see this was the previous uh, campaign which we were created on I just click here the Google Ads account and then after that I need to navigate on the tools and settings and here you will be able to see that there are the different options the linked accounts so if you just click here linked accounts you will be able to see that there are different kinds of uh, accounts are keep presenting like I already linked my Google Analytics account, Google Analytics GA4A account, and then uh, if I navigate down, then the YouTube account is also I linked now, and there are some other accounts informations are also be keep presenting in front of you. But I am interesting to link my Google Ads account with my Tag Manager account now. So just click on the uh, click icon, uh, tools and setting, and then navigate towards the building the remarketing audience is our main target objective now so if i just keep coming on the shape library and then click on the audience manager and under this you will be able to see these are the uh, already audiences i have now so you just need to uh, keep navigating towards your data sources so here I already configured my Google Tags Ads Tag Manager account. Now. So how you can do now in your cases when you will open your account first time, you will not be able to see an any link account now. So if you just click here, Edit Source, I'm just keep showing you my existing one. So this will be keep asking you uh, like collecting the data shows and uh, just you know. If you click on this additional option and then the click on the continue button, no need to change anything. And this is the main area you need to focus now. You need to just click on the user, use Google Tag Manager. So if you just click here, this is the ID you need to concentrate now. And uh, you just need to copy this one and uh, just navigate again towards your Tag Manager account. And here you just click on the tags. And uh, I already created so many tags, so uh, I just want to show you how you can create your one. So just click here, new, and just specify here. And then the account which I am targeting now for the purpose of the ads remarketing. So if I just click on the ad remarketing, first of all, I need to specify the conversion ID. So the conversion ID is the one which I was just showing you here now. You just need to copy here now. The conversion ID and uh, you need to be keep specified here. So once you specified here, no need to do specify anything on the label conversion and keep the rest of the options as it is. And uh, as I already told you, now this is the time we need to keep creating our trigger. So what will happen if I just click here that I want to keep trigger whenever someone else will be keep uh, creating uh, or hitting any of my landing page. So this will be keep uh, uh, trigger on all my pages now. So if I just click here, and uh, I will be keep specify here like all pages remarketing all pages. So anyone, let's say a specific page, if I am targeting, so you can uh, just select a specific one as well. You can this one page, and you can also select any of the specific, let's say contact con contact page I am targeting now. So just like the contact page, so I am saying that remarketing only only my contact page. So this is that I am just saying to Google uh, the app manager that show me only those uh, audience who are coming on my contact page now. So if you just uh, click on the save button so I'm just populating one now. So you will be able to see that uh, only the remarketing 
um, only remarketing only on my contact pages we just created a few seconds ago now so if i just want to say that either this is configured or not then you need to click on the submit button and just specify done changes save and publish publicly so you can also be able to publish your uh, trigger tag and uh, that can be fired now so already i have fired some of the 21 tags and trigger seven if I just go towards the workplace and then I want to see that my uh, pre uh, basically the tag is triggered or not and if we just click on the preview button and here if I just specify my contact page contact, and then connect So my contact page, I just want to know that either my tag is triggered or not. If the tag is triggered, so this means that this is working same as expected now. Now, let me verify the page is open. I just uh, make it uh, minimize and then the click on the continue. You will be able to see the tag which we just created, remarketing only my contact page is fired. There are some more tags I have created and these are all the events for the different purposes I created now. Let's say if I am targeting for a specific landing page just like the one we just created now. And now this target audience we can uh, manage and we can now integrate with our Google Ads account now. So in our next session, I will be keep letting you know how you can keep configured uh, your remarketing on my contact page with your Google Ads account.